There are countless articles, seminars, and patented techniques out there hawking counseling snake oil to the conjugally discontent. Whole celebrity careers and moderately large fortunes are built on the five essential steps to, say it with me, save your marriage. Sometimes divorce is necessary. None of us get married so we can get a divorce, but sometimes, divorce is necessary. There are legitimate reasons why any of us might want, no, need, a divorce, like when domestic violence is implied, much less manifested, or love is nowhere to be found, or your partner wants to move to Guyana to join a much improved cult that is nothing like the old one, I promise. So, yes, sometimes, divorce is necessary. Preventing Divorce America's first scientist, Benjamin Franklin, said, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. But what could that mean when it comes to mate selection and divorce prevention? Franklin goes on to say, when it comes to avoiding a divorce, you're going to be well served by performing some thoughtful due diligence in the form of an intentional interview. But really, do we need an imaginary quote by Benjamin Franklin to reasonably conclude that we would do better in picking out a mate if we really got to know someone before we got hitched? Conducting an intentional interview. An intentional interview is simple in concept yet difficult to execute for those who are new at it. First, recall your last seriously flawed relationship and think of all the questions you would have been well served to ask, think of all the behavioral clues you should have paid attention to, Think of all the uncomfortable confrontations you wished you'd had the courage to face. Thinking about these things is the simple part. The difficult part is applying what you discover toward future relationships. You decide your fate. No one can tell you what questions you should have asked, what behavioral clues you might have focused on, or what confrontations might have helped you clarify or resolve your differences before they became problematic. Why not? Because we're all different. And because we're all different, you will be well served to attend to those matters that matter to you because not everyone may feel the same way you do about death metal music, future lifestyle goals, or the usual and customary sexual techniques. An exercise in compatibility. Let's say, on a 1 to 10 scale of tidiness in the home, you're a 9 and your best friend, also single, is a 5, and the two of you meet a real prospect who happens to be a 4 on the same scale. Depending on how flexible you are on the issue, your best friend might have the inside track on compatibility while you might do the whole round peg, square hole thing and spend a lifetime picking up after your beloved 4. No one can tell you that this should or shouldn't matter, that is your call. This exercise applies to thousands of variables. Find the courage to speak up. Confrontation is scary in a romance when you really, really want everything to work out because sometimes confrontation reveals a level of self-deception fueled only by our emotional neediness. That said, confrontation, when done in an inviting, playful style, also helps the other person reveal more of themselves and sometimes helps them see the need to correct our misapprehension of us. Examples of happy ending confrontations, I thought you didn't like it when I cook. I love to cook. Married? Oh god no, I've been divorced for the last three years. Less happy confrontation, yes, I usually vote that way. There's more to life than human rights and that wokeness stuff. Good to know, right? The importance of knowing yourself. All of the above depends on you knowing yourself, your personal limits to what you can stand, and your dreams of what must be. The intentional interview's success depends on your humble recognition of your limitations, as in, yes, I can love them, but can I live with that for the rest of my life? The truth will set you free. Performing one's due diligence in love means conducting ongoing intentional interviews and letting the truth come out. Even in our deepest emotional neediness to be loved by another, we do this because, as painful as it may be, we know that the truth is both a friend and the foundation of a truly informed decision. Prevention is key. 
If you are unmarried and wish to minimize your odds of getting a divorce, learn as much as you can about your partner or future partner prior to getting married. If you are married, conduct some intentional interviews with your spouse and see how it goes. Rather than reading an article that offers a simple cure to save your marriage, ask the right questions, confront when necessary, and pay attention to behavioral clues to see if your marriage stands a chance. If not, sometimes, as we discussed, divorce is necessary.